Hello, I'm coming back to you at Christmas time, as you can clearly see. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I really do. I really do believe that it is a fantastic time. And I've got four great new products, brand new products. I haven't even tried them myself yet. I'm trying to them for the first time here on video with you. Uh, from Sons of Liberty, uh, as you, you you probably know the name. We've, we've had their, their, a few of their beers on here before. We've had some of their other products on here before, but you should definitely know Sons of Liberty. They're a fantastic distillery right here in Rhode Island, South Kingstown, Rhode Island. And they've got four flavored whiskeys. Uh, that they've got uh, brand new to the shelves this month. Apple, honey, maple, which I know it looks a little reduced there, but I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm, I, I prepared a cocktail with it. Uh, they've got a fantastic cocktail program. If you don't know their, their bottled cocktail line, you should definitely check that out. Uh, I'm going to link up on uh, on YouTube here. I'm going to link up all this information, the Sun's website, the Sun's social media, and the links to the cocktails. Uh, links to all these flavored whiskeys. This is the coffee one. So yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, I would really appreciate uh, a like, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, especially after I get through all these whiskeys. Let me know what you think about flavored whiskeys. Have you had any of these flavored whiskeys? And what do you think? Uh, so Sons have been making whiskey for, for 10 years now, uh, longer since, uh, you know, obviously they need to uh, age a little bit before they start to release it. They've been releasing it for 10 years now. And they've made flavored whiskeys in the past. Uh, there was the uh, uh, let's see, there was the honey chamomile, uh, there was an apple. Uh, so they've made flavored whiskeys in the past, but these are brand new. They make, the key with Sons is they make them with all real products. So there's real apples used in this apple flavored whiskey. There's no, no odd chemical or whatever that, to make it apple taste, tasting. Uh, they, they, uh, I'm very fortunate. I love the guys at Sons. Brian made me up these little 200 milliliter bottles for me to take and make a video and do a tasting video. So thank you to Sons for these. They normally retail in 750 milliliter bottles, Average price is going to be around $30. You might find it a little cheaper, or a little more expensive at your local liquor store, but check them out uh, around $30 for a 750 milliliter. And uh, uh, they've won awards, many, many awards for their whiskeys in the past. And they've even won flavored whiskeys awards in the past as well. So I'll, like I said, I'll link all this up here. I'll link up the cocktails that uh, Rachel Soderberg, uh, their cocktail uh, developer there at Sons makes. Uh, I'm going to make one for you here before we go. But uh, first, let's start by just tasting the apple flavored whiskey. So off the bat, I can't say I get a ton of apple on the nose, but I definitely get a great nose of whiskey. There's a little bit there. There's definitely a little bit of that apple feel to the, to the nose. But let's taste it. Ooh, that's delicious. Full of apples. That is New England in the fall whiskey. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I knew it would be good because I know, like I said, they use all natural ingredients, all real ingredients, and their whiskeys are fantastic to begin with, but well, that was a pleasant surprise right there on palate right off the bat. Mmm. I don't want to drink too much because, you know, <laughs> it's whiskey, it's not wine. Ah, but that was delightful. Oh, that's really good. All right, moving on to the honey. As I mentioned, they made a honey chamomile in the past. This is just honey, and they use real honey, as you would imagine. I want to just keep saying this. They use real ingredients. <laughs> don't need to keep saying it. Oh, this definitely got a different nose. Definitely honey coming through on the nose a lot more than apple came through on the nose on the other one, but uh, let's see what it tastes like. Oh. Now this strong honey flavor really, really gets there into the whiskey. A lot of, a lot of honey flavor. Whereas with the apple, I'd sit and sip it straight, uh, maybe an ice cube, and I could do the same with this. This could definitely be a cocktail whiskey, without a doubt. Mm. Great stuff. The maple, the maple whiskey, which I'm going to make a cocktail with in a little bit. That's why I've already got it open and a little bit poured out. Good maple on the nose. Not as pronounced as the honey on the nose, but good maple on the nose. Mm. Yeah, we're up in Vermont. Uh, I bought a skier, but I happily sit in a ski lodge and drink. Uh, let my children do the skiing, my wife do the skiing. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a this is a skiing in a glass right here. If you've been to Vermont in the winter time, you know they do love their maple products. Uh, all of New England does, but Vermont really—they're very proud of the maple products. And then, last but not least, the coffee. This is the coffee flavored whiskey. I've had a lot of really great coffee-flavored vodkas recently, 
Uh, there's a distillery up in Massachusetts I went to that had a delicious coffee vodka. I should do a tasting video on that. Really great product. Ooh, this is like a... For you Rhode Islanders out there watching this, this is like coffee syrup smell in a glass. Yeah. I can't wait to taste this. This is really... I feel like it's some Dave's coffee syrup in a glass, though they use real coffee in the, in the whiskey, obviously not syrup, but um, it just comes through like that on the nose. Mmm. Well, that's different. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, really strong bitter notes in there. Delicious bitter notes. Uh, if you like coffee, you should definitely check out this coffee flavored whiskey. It's definitely a different. And I, again, I think this would be a fantastic cocktail product. The ubiquitous espresso martini would definitely be served greatly by this uh, coffee whiskey if you want to try it with a little something different. I'm going to make, uh, as I mentioned, uh, Rachel is their cocktail creator there at Sons of Liberty. She does a fantastic job. I'm going to make a maple nor'easter. I looked at their website and all their cocktails, and this one just jumped off the uh, jumped off the screen at me. Uh, it has two ounces of maple flavored whiskey in there, half an ounce of maple syrup, so there's added maple to it, uh, half an ounce of lime juice, and then I'm going to top it with some ginger beer. I've got all those ingredients in here. Shake it up. And then I will pour it into the glass. Oh, I forgot my I forgot my Hawthorne strainer. I'll just have to wing it with the uh, with the shaker there. Give me a second as I slowly pour this out into the glass without getting any ice. All right. And then of course, top it with Rhode Island's own Yacht Club ginger beer. It just says top with ginger beer, so I'm gonna just use a little as, as I see fit and garnish with a lime. I uh, got this right here. I, I just I, I enjoy this Tiki Rocks gla uh, uh, Collins glass very much, so that's why that's why I, uh, I should put the put the lime to the side so you can see the face a little better. That's why I'm using it. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna drop the lime in. Get a little extra lime juice on it. Maple nor'easter. Oh, that's delicious. Ooh. Uh, mm. I highly recommend than that. If you like uh, Moscow Mules with ginger beer, you're going to love this. In my opinion, this is way better than Moscow Mule. Oh, yeah, I'm going to just sit here and finish this drink and uh, look at the tree, listen to some Christmas tunes, which I would play for you, but... Unfortunately, if I did that, the, the video would be uh, banned on YouTube uh, for copyright purposes. So I can't do that. I could sing you a Christmas tune, but I'm not going to do that either. But what I will ask is that you like, subscribe, and comment below. Uh, tell me if you've tried these Sons of Liberty flavored whiskeys, if you've had other flavored whiskeys. Uh, what are your thoughts? If you had other Sons of Liberty products, there's some really great whiskeys from Sons of Liberty. They've got their Winter Wonderland Bazaar coming up. You should check out. I will put all this links, all the stuff down there below in the description on the YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. I, I always appreciate people out there watching and take care. Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. If you don't, happy whatever holiday you celebrate this time of year. Take care.